Here we are at Antiques Roadshow. This is Rob Moore. I'm in booth G5. This is my baby. And uh, we have a lot of interesting things here that are for sale. I uh, recently acquired a bunch of phones, all different colors, different styles, push button, rotary, different. Everything you look for in phones, we got that. And have uh, some old cameras, uh, old train stuff, some old trains, tracks, Lionel. What else? There's so much good stuff here. Okay, we're still here at Old Glory, and I'm here with James. You've got a fantastic setup here. So talk about some of the items that you carry in your booth. Well, right now, I try to, like, go all over the board. I kind of started off with, like, vintage clothes and, like, handbags and accessories. Um, I started off with the booth in the back probably about a year ago. And then I moved up front, and things just kind of kept going. And now I have, like, glassware, still have clothes, handbags, um, fine china, uh, any kind of, like, hardware. Maybe you're restoring a house. Um, really? Sound, sounds like you're looking for the good stuff. <laughs> exactly, right. I kind of go all over the place and try to find, like, the best stuff to bring in here, things that are unique and cool. Um, you can really come in here for anything, whatever you're looking for. Uh, and it's better than like a big box store because you know you're recycling, being green, lowering your you know carbon footprint by getting things that are used and probably even cooler than something you'd find in a big box store. Now, those glasses you were in, are those vintage Ray-Bans? Yes, sir. They're from the 70s. I'm, like, all about vintage. I sleep, eat, breathe vintage. You know, this hat is from, like, 78. Oh, so wow. there you it's go. very cool. Now, um, correct me if I'm wrong, but if they buy, for example, old Levi's jeans, and, of course, my stuff is old just because I've had it a long time. <laughs> it's not because I bought it old, right? Uh -huh. But... They're going to be made in the USA, too, and whereas they're not now. If you go to the Walmart or something and buy jeans, they're not. Right, absolutely. Like That's why I love vintage clothing or just vintage things in general because you know a lot of it was made in the USA. Most of my clothes have tags in them that say made in the USA, and they were made a lot better than what you would go out and buy now, new, and stuff really isn't that great of quality new right now. So you do a lot better buying vintage. Well, there you go. You heard it right here. And you've got a huge selection, not just his booth. He has a lot of items here. But how many booths are in the whole place? Do you know? Um, there are 110 booths altogether. 110. Yes. Yeah, so. And each and every one of them has special items in here. So, right. so the neat thing about coming a place like here, here and shopping like you say, you can support, you can buy American-made items, right. which then will encourage more people. There are artisans now that are starting to make things in the U.S. There's a big comeback on that, boots yeah. and shoes and so on. And so if we, if we stick to our guns and just buy high-quality U.S.-made items, there's going to be more of those items. Absolutely. And, and so and we're we, getting better quality. Um, again, to go back to there being 110 booths, you're not only shopping small, but you're shopping small with 110 different people. So you're really supporting so many different small businesses by shopping in here. And I kind of saw an opportunity in Old Glory by coming here because I know the mall, as you already know, like big box stores in brick and mortar are kind of closing down now. So I truly believe that like Old Glory is the future of shopping. And I think I've seen business growing over just this past year being here, but I continue to see it growing over the years. Well, you know, our focus with Frederick.com are owner operator businesses. A lot of the businesses that are sponsors on there are owner operator small operations. And what's neat about that is you have somebody that really cares about what they're doing that you're dealing with, whether it be somebody repairing your car, putting in an AC system for your house. Right. You've got, you're dealing with the guy right there. And here's the th same thing here. You're right. dealing with individuals that put a lot of time and effort and care into the selection of the items that they have. And specializing in certain things. Like we have a booth with just all vintage tools. There's some booths that also have just all vintage clothing glassware, collectibles, anything you can think of, we have it here.
And, you know, you can buy these things and use them. Like, you're, you're using those Ray-Ban yeah, sunglasses. Them, wear them every day. And they look fantastic. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, I, I have a bunch of pairs. Uh, and, they're again, they're also old. And there's something about the old ones. Right. That, they last forever. It's way better quality. Anything that's vintage is guaranteed to be better quality. And here, you're paying less for that. And especially if it was higher end to start with. Absolutely. And and a lot of the items that you're going to find that have survived the test of time were higher end to right. start with. So they're going to be higher Continue end now. to stand the test of time. Absolutely. All right. Well, there you go. Come on down to Old Glory. There's a beautiful restaurant right across the way here. You can have lunch. And then come on in here and buy just a few nice items to use every day. You don't have to buy things just to decorate your house. I call them dust collectors. Of course, the people that sell those probably don't call them that. But you can buy things that are actually practical, that you can actually use, like some of the clothing items that you're selling, the tools you mentioned. Right. I think when people think of like an antique store, automatically what comes to their mind is, you know, it's all overpriced and it's small, like tchotchke stuff that collects dust, but it really isn't. Like, there's a lot of really cool things in here that you can find. There you go. Come on by. Shop. Shop you till soon. you drop. <laughs> Thanks again. Thank you. Yep. If you enjoy local content like this, please like, comment, and share this video. If you own a local business, please join us.